Good morning, YouTube. Once again, this is Carl, call sign Kilo Charlie 8, Yankee Lima Tango. This is the first of a few more videos yet to come on uh, converting CB radios to operate on the hand bands. Um, once again, these radios that were once operating on the CB band, they've now been converted to work on the hand bands. This one here I'm showing is the one that I converted to operate on the uh, 75 and 80 meter hand band. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say, uh, I didn't make it real clear in the last video, um, only conversions done to these radios is changing of the uh, crystal that runs the PLL chip, rewinding the VCO coil, no capacitance is added to the VCO coil, it's solely rewound, um, adding uh, buff two, two small, two transistorized buffer amplifiers, one in the receive side, and two running in parallel on the transmit side coming off the transmit mixer and uh, the one in the receive also is the same as the ones being used in the transmitter these are used to uh, pick up any loss we have from dropping down in the lower frequencies also capacitors are added to the uh, transmit and receive RF stages um, to the RF transformers to make them resonate at the, our desired frequency which in the case of this radio is uh, for the 75 meter band um, also, no conversions are done to the IF. The IF frequency stages are all left alone. Um, also, the only thing I haven't completed yet on these radios is the uh, adding a tank circuit, which right now I'm using an external antenna tuner, as you can see over here. The meter in it was broken. Of course, I take the top off the antenna tuner. As you can see, there's nothing inside. It's supposed to be there, no external signal source driving the radio. That jumper is running over here to the radio. And uh, the other wires hooked to our dipole antenna outside. Also restore antique radios. I use that dipole antenna for uh, checking the receive and stuff like that on older radios. There's a 1931 RCA tabletop, early super head. But back to my conversions on my uh, 75 80 meter band radio. Um, there's more videos to come. I'm going to break down the 40-meter uh, radio and talk about it. Then I'm going to do one on the 20-meter uh, conversion. Also, these uh, channel selectors, where this radio is set up, the way I set it up was it moves in five or increments of 5 kcs each. As you can see here, this here being the low frequency this radio operates on. I'm on, my, I'm on the low band now. That low band is accomplished. I'm using the tone high and low switch. That's being accomplished by uh, going to the PLL chip and adding uh, switching air on it to give me a few frequencies above the band I'm operating on and below. This we're still on the low band. That's channel 40. Now let's go to our high switch. That should put us pretty much right at 4 megahertz. As you can see here, let me turn in the clarifier. The clarifier has a 5kc wide bandwidth. It's not not a whole lot, but it's very sufficient. Um, I'm using a relay in the radio for the transmit and receive switching. Regular microphone, S-meter. The only problem I've had was um, using the SWR calibration switch, it's been unhooked. The meter, uh, it does work in transmit mode. Also, I'll show that here when I do a demonstration of the transmitter. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off the radio, the case. I've got one screw holding it together. We'll use a pencil here to point with. Let me move this radio down here where you all can see it. here this is this red and black wire that's our DC power cord I hardwire that into the radio that keeps me from having to buy so many power cords to run these radios with now if you look right here in this section well these wires are covering up you'll see some capacitors there those are to make our uh, receive circuit resonate down our desired frequency for different bands you use different capacitors we'll come over or transmit section. Same here. 
that's a trimmer capacitor that's used for helping to resonate the uh, RF section to a lower frequency make it resonate this is our transmit and receive mixer transformer it goes to our transmitter and receiver that has to be dropped also these wires here you see that's for an upper and lower sideband that goes to the frequency counter this is a galaxy frequency counter full-time readout uh, Fox Charlie 347 I believe it is yes very good little counters I like them they're aftermarket you can buy them they work on the galaxy radios or this style board you have to uh, solder a jumper on the bottom of the uh, the board inside these to make them work on the uh, Cobras and the unit and the grands and so forth also you can see here this coaxial cable this is our RF feed going out to the counter this little gray wire here that's well, brown actually it's not gray and red wire those are the power leads for the uh, counter nothing else hooked to the radio jumper going over to the uh, antenna tuner as you can see okay let's have a look at the other side Uh, switching relay used for switching the transmit and receive come forward a little bit these wires are covering it up there's a little two transistor amp right there two transistors on a strip you can get these from Radio Shack pretty simple to build that's our receive broadband preamp okay come over here to our transmit section you see two more of those preamps two little transistorized preamps input capacitors output capacitors coming off our transmit mixer. It generates a real weak signal. Right now I'm working on an RF amplifier to put in the back and a uh, tank circuit also for the transmit and receive. I haven't used any MOSFETs yet. I haven't tried it, but I'm wanting to go more toward using a uh, 2 and 3055 transistor, the big round one. I have to use on power supplies and audio amps. That will work in RF. It's a little more um, it's hard to get it, it's harder to get it to work down there or work in an RF circuit, but it can be done with the proper input uh, inductance and capacitance output also. Real rugged transistor, I like them. Come up here toward the front. There's our crystal we're using. I'm not giving the frequency out of that crystal yet, the number of it. Come on over. There's a good old VCO coil. I'll tell you what, that was a, it was a job to rewind. There's no capacitance added to the bottom of it. Okay, let's do a little receiving on here and see all we can hear. We'll do a quick transmission also. Band seems to be a little active this morning. I've got a little bit of harmonics going on from the local radio station. AM radio station up here, sports station. The receive on this, it does good. But sometimes the, uh, the length of the antenna will... I'll pick up some images and stuff like that. Put this screw back in. I'm a little leery of operating this without screwing the case. I've screwed up too many radios in the past. A little bit about me. I used to be a CBer. Well, I still am. I have a radio in the truck that I use to uh, for when I'm driving. Uh, I did that for. Well, I've been doing that now for almost 30 years. See, we'll get our frequency counter set up. There we go. Got everybody tuned in. Let's go to some more channels there and see what we have. Meter. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we stop at channel 15 because we go down to 14. We drop right back down to 4 flat. Well, just lower 4 megahertz. Let's go to our low band. Readjust our antenna tuner here. Receive loss is greater down here on the lower frequencies for this radio. So much for that. Let's find a uh, spot we can transmit on. I wanted to see if there's any AMers in there. 885. Sometimes you can catch them in there in the morning. Let's go up a channel. This frequency counters off a little bit in the last digit. It's not 100% accurate, but it's good enough for what it's doing. You guys aren't coming in too good this morning. This radio also covers up her sideband. There's ain't nobody talking up there. That's lower. Now right, let's pick a frequency. Nobody's on. Do a quick radio check. We'll do it on the dummy load. Okay, we're going to use the Eton here. Let's switch this back over to lower side, man. And what frequency are we on here? 3.9570. Not too far. Get us in the ballpark. Okay. Okay, we're transmitting here. Let's get get ourselves in frequency. This is Kilo Charlie 8, Yankee Lima Tango, performing a RF transmission test on uh, 3.97 or 3.95702 megahertz, performing it on a dummy load. Demonstration of a uh, CB radio converted to uh, 75 meters. Uh, you can see the meter moving there a little bit there with my modulation there. I do have a part of the output uh, hooked to the meter circuit, red LED. This here concludes the test. On a dummy load, this is Kilo Charlie 8, Yankee Lima Tango. This concludes this test. Okay, come off our dummy load. Um, like I said there, fellow hams, um, I'm going to try to uh, get the other two radios on, indiv on individual uh, videos. I'm going to try to get this tank circuit wound and a good RF output transistor put on that so I can make some QSOs and make a demonstration of that. Not too many hams here in this small town I belong or live in, but uh, I hope to have that done there real soon. But anyway, thanks again there YouTubers and fellow hams. This is Carl KC8YLT saying 73s and thanks.